Alright, so this is part two to my improving AI art video. Um, yesterday I got a little bit of heat for making an AI video because some people are against it. And I totally understand, it's not for everyone. But I do like to commit to my projects, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this video. Starting off where I left off yesterday, I just started doing the sky and finishing off the bottom half of her dress. I want to go ahead and just add more to it, make it a lot larger, and just put a creative touch to it. Um, yeah, so let me stop rambling and just get right back into the video. Yeah, so this is the portrait, and I didn't really do too much. I just added the sky and tried to fill in the dress at the bottom, just to kind of like see what I can play around with with this piece. Yeah, so I want to just finish this. I want to make it larger. I want to just add to it. I want to add more to it. Even though it's already gorgeous, um, I feel like there's so much more that I can do. Now, someone did say that the teeth looked bad. I, I'm going to zoom in. I mean, like, what do you guys think? Do these teeth really look that bad? I mean, there are some parts I could fix, but I thought they look great. Maybe I can make them a little bigger. So I do want this look a little more magical. Um, a little more fantasy. What did I do? There you go. All right. And come in and just see what I'm working with. Hi, so I actually wanted to talk a bit rather than playing some fancy music in the background. It's more about my thoughts on content creation and niches and how I feel about switching things up for happiness sake, at least on YouTube. There's so much I've been wanting to do with my channel for years now, but I never really been able to have the opportunity to do so up until recently. Over the years, my channel has been all over the place and what I'd upload if it's quote unquote a good idea. One thing I like about YouTube is that no matter if I like to consume content or create it, it always felt like a platform that was for me. Though lately I've been having this um, negative experience on all social platforms because it's social causing it to like suck the joy out of something that once used to be harmless fun for me then i notice i may be having just some social anxiety on the internet all this leading into me realizing that just maybe i've always cared a little too much of what people thought of me are they going to like me or whatever, you know, things like that, which would normally make me run and hide. But as I'm getting older, I'm starting to see the issue and being avoidant because of a little fear that maybe it's a right to be disliked. It's a right to not be the best at everything you do. And sometimes I may disappoint people I care about, but will always disappoint some internet strangers. I realized that I can't win, so why let anxiety and fear control me and stop me from doing, I don't know, like just things that I enjoy? This may resonate with some of, you know, like with some, if you spend enough time online or even in your personal life, just around people. I wanted to remind you guys that, I mean, it's okay to not be perfect. That we are all human and we are all enough. Not even AI can take that away. So, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much it. Just some thoughts I've been having lately. So, I, I just wish everyone an amazing year this year. And just to go for what it is that you would like to do in life. Don't let fear stop you and control your life. Alright. Back to the video. Thank you. 